I remember when I was young, my father telling me that you don't have to love skiing, but if you're going to live in Minnesota, you have to learn how to ski. The first time I heard about skijoring, I watched that, and I said, wow, in that sport, the dog can pull me. What a great idea. And <laughs> that's, the kids wanted a dog, and so I said, let's get a sled dog. Common is a dog that likes to pull. You take a harness out and the skis out, and she knows what's going on, and she gets excited. The nice thing with skijoring is that you're on skis and you're not limited by the speed of running. You can go as fast as the dog can go. It's, it's enjoyable. <laughs> and when you get Comet out there and she's running and pulling something, it's so obvious that that's what she is bred to do. You, you know that that is their purpose in life to them. That's, that's their big thing. It's very exciting to be doing something with an animal where you're both working together. There's no complicated way to describe it. It just feels great to see them doing what they really enjoy. Comet is my coach. She'll come to my bed in the morning and she'll start bugging me. Why are we going to go for our run? We need to go for our run. Come on, let's go. Skijoring is just a way to go out there and enjoy it with them in winter. You can avoid winter if you really want to, but it seems more difficult if you try to avoid winter than if you just embrace it. The dog wants to go out, trust me, they want to go run. The colder the weather, the faster they can run. I'll put a big parka on and my extra warm gloves and, uh, and, and hang on. And that's a wonderful feeling to, to have that relationship with your pet. She can hear my pole plants and tell how hard I'm pushing. You sense what each other is thinking. The dog can tell how hard I'm working. She can hear my breathing. You know, they're a part of your family, and there you're out doing something with them. And it seems silly, but when you're out there doing it, it's wonderful.